so hi guys welcome to learn with Pritam. today we will start with uh, creating some apis uh, we will first create one cosmos db uh, employee database and then we will start uh, implementing the crude operations uh, over that particular database so let me first show you the demo what i've already created so let me open my visual studio uh, here is uh, the controller class inside all these methods are there this is the get method there are two get methods one post one put and one delete okay so let me build this yeah uh, as i've already built it so it said one updated okay fine uh, let me run this code okay uh, let me first show you one thing uh, this is my employee uh, this is my cosmos db database so before that let me show you one thing this is the cosmos db and uh, you can neglect this as of now and yeah uh, so i have two records already i have inserted that is one is this with employee id 100 uh, 1000 the name of the employee is pritam and second one is this the employee ID is 1001 and the name of the employee is Ronnie and the department is account. So these two data has been added already. So let me go back to my Swagger UI here. Let it load first. And now you can see uh, there are five methods written here. So if I go for tryout and execute this, I should have got two result which is my uh, these two data uh, from this cosmos db these two data from the cosmos db so yeah uh, i have got this free term and run okay so this is the gate method where i can find all the employee details here and then i go for this this is employee data uh, where i can find the specific employee details with uh, employee ID. So if I go for tryout and type 1000, it should have shown me the pre-thumbs data. So yeah, it is showing me the pre data and it is also working fine. And close this. And then if I want to add one new data, let me go for tryout. This is the post method where I can add new data. This ID is nothing but uh, the GUID, which, uh, which is the uh, partition key for Cosmos DB as well. So uh, I'm not giving any data. It is it, it will be auto uh, given in the code. Like it will be auto generated uh, in the controller itself. So I will give only the employee details. Let me give as 1003. Then employee name is let's say demo employee and a department is let's say demo department or i can give let's say it and salary is let's say 1000 10000 and i'll execute this so it says employee is added successfully 200 the status code is 200 so my employee data is getting added already so now if i want to see i can see it from both to get method so uh, the employee ID I have given is 1003. I'll go here go for tryout and give execute this. So, yeah, you can see uh, the ID is already uh, this is a GUID, it is auto created inside the code itself. So, and, and other details are there that is demo employee and IT and salary is this. So, with this particular data. If I copy the ID, I can do other operations like post, uh, I mean put. So here as well, I can do uh, like I can update the data of particular employee. I, sh I have to give the ID as string. This is the GUID of that particular employee. And then uh, the name of the employee should not be changed as per my code. So uh, the department I can change like it is at first it was it 
now it should be like let's say medical and i am giving the salary as 20 lakh and execute this code it says response body is saying employee details updated successfully and code is 200 so my employee details is updated already let me go to my this here get employee details and let me execute this again and here now you can see the demo employee name is employee demo employee and then department is medical it's changed from it to medical and salary is also getting changed so yeah this is also working fine and you can cross verify it from the uh, cosmos db as well if i refresh this there is new and uh, there would be one data added yeah see see this this is the data and it's already changed to medical and 20 lakh okay so it is working fine in the cosmos that's why it is coming here and now if i want to delete the employee i will go for delete method and then try it out and do this i want to delete the last employee i've added so i'll give his uh, connections i mean um, guid and execute this so it says employee deleted from the database successfully 200 okay so now if i go here and execute this i shouldn't have got any result it should be null uh, okay see the response body is 200 but it is throwing me zero value there is no uh, data here inside this and if i go here as well and go for try out and execute this get all employee uh, there is two data already uh, no demo employee uh, there the data and uh, if you go here as well and refresh this page uh, yeah see there is no data 001 and 0001 and 1000 only employee id there is no 1003 okay so this is the demo of the application uh, i have already added this application to my github page uh, you can uh, check that page and uh, copy the code if you want from there just you have to change the connection string in the app setting.json here you have to change the connection string and give it your connection string uh, the account name and the key uh, and uh, uh, in the next video i will tell you how how we'll create this so thank you bye guys